as a player from where you were entering the season versus where you are now? So I have the lot knowing like that I'm playing extra work in, so it's easier to just hone into it. When I get in the game, it's just easier, so it's like natural now since I've been working on it so much. In the last two games, you know, the or last three games, really, secondary has done a better job. What have you seen? What improvement have you guys made? In the last three games specifically, I mean, staying, staying focused, staying honed in on our technique. You know, knowing, knowing the leverages of everything. So we just playing by the book, basically. When that front group is up to full health, having Baby and such back, how much does that allow you guys in the back half to just play faster and a little more free, knowing they're going to get their job done? It helps a lot, knowing that they're going to get a pressure, so the gaps going to open up faster, so you can see everything happen. With them, they gonna make either, either they gonna make it or they gonna come to us. So good to have them boys healthy. The practices seem to have a lot of energy. The guys seem like they're you know, bouncing around pretty good. Um, what do you what do you attribute that to? Everybody bought in. The culture here, so everybody just here now. Everybody know what to expect. Everybody know what to do. So everybody just having fun with it now. You find that you you guys um, receivers and defensive backs uh, compete. Mm -hmm. I mean, does practice get fun because of competition? Yes, it get real fun just off the competition. Knowing like best on best would be like the funnest part because you know it's the best on best. So it's not drudgery. It's works fun. You got to work fun. We talked about culture and buy-in to Jerry's question. How much has that changed from when you got here versus where it is today? I mean, from where it is, from when I got here today, a bit changed, you know. Everybody more dialed in. It's like everybody just bought into it now. From me, from my freshman to now, just everybody more bought in. Everybody see the vision, so everybody just hopping on the train. Was there a moment along the way where you kind of knew it was happening, where you could tell that the buy-in was coming as a group, as a whole? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. When I first went, when Coach Norville first got a job, honestly, his first um, meeting when he first introduced himself to the team, I've been seeing it coming. Just don't know when, though, but I've seen it coming. So how rewarding is it to see it coming this year, you know, because you guys have been through a lot in the past few years. So how rewarding is it to be where you guys are now? I mean, it feel good knowing that I've been a part of the other teams and the way we send that right now is just great for me. I'm going to take it back. So, you know, they, they talk about hard work. Um, you, you get more buy-in when you have success. You, you guys have had some success recently. Um, does that increase the buy-in when you have success? I mean, yeah, it do. I wouldn't lie, it do, but you got to be bought in before the success. You know, If you just buy in off the success, then they're going to go up and down. You got to be bought in when it's bad and when it's good. So. The last few weeks, it seems like um, Reedy Vance has been stepping up in your defensive backfield. You know, how big has he been, you know, two, a turnover in two straight weeks? How big has he been? He been big. He been getting that ball. You know, my boy been getting the ball. So my boy been big for us. He been adding the um, interceptions up for us back there. So. You guys have two more home games. Um, how excited are you guys to kind of finish the season at home and finish what you guys have started? I mean, it's good to finish home. Now we got a home crowd advantage now. So back to dope, you know, setting the vibe. So it's back to just real fun at home now. So. Next week is Thanksgiving, then Florida game on Friday. So how hard is it to, you know, make sure you keep the focus on this week and not look ahead with everything that's coming up? I mean, that's a part of the buy-in. We don't try to look too far ahead. We just focus on one day at a time. So it really ain't really nothing to say like we worry about them. It's just we go day at a time. When you talk to, like, friends back home and family back home, can you tell they're excited now about Florida State, like what you guys are doing compared to the last couple of years? Mm -hmm. I mean, I could tell they're excited, but they, my people by, that I talk to, they know that about the buy-in and how the team is. So they already been expecting it. It's just but when it was going to happen. That list of people start with your mom? Yeah. My own brother. Damn. What's it like for her? Because obviously you had you and your brother here at one point. Uh, it's good for her knowing that, you know, Florida State, home, like my home state, so it's good for her. She can always come up to the games. She enjoy the school, enjoy the coaches and stuff, so everything be good. Why did you why did you think Marvel could get it done? Like when you first met her, like why did you think that they could do it? Oh, the drive. I already seen like the the drive he had and how like detailed he was. I know it was gonna come together. So. At seven and three, walking around campus is a different feeling than zero and four last year. Oh, it's way different feeling from where we at right now. It's a better, way better feeling. It's always good to be on the winning side. So. Thanks again.
Appreciate y'all. I'm good to go.